afternoon, classmates and Professor Paz. How are you? This is uh, Carlos Carvajalino. This is my presentation for Legal Ethics and Social Business Values. Uh, for week four, we are going to be discussing the ethical dilemma for Merck and Co. Inc. and uh, the ethical responsibility of the business approach. Now, the following case study, it's, it is consistent in the ethical dilemma from the company, Merck, and their responsibility, ethical responsibility, whether they needed to take action in developing a new drug for society. Now, in this case, the main concern arises when the company is in a position of developing, is in a position whether they need to develop a drug that may be effective to cure a disease called the river blindness. And by the way, this uh, is actually the second most common cause of blindness after trachoma caused by a parasite um, or now this disease it's in large populations in countries that are poor countries countries in development and the fact that producing such a mass uh, product um, developing this drug might result in high costs for the company with low to no significant return on investment so the dilemma goes whether the company needs to approach this situation taking action by creating and developing this product to help the community or they need to focus on their main goal or one of the main goals of the company which is obviously creating profit. Now there are certain frameworks theories that we're going to be discussing and authors we're going to be using to somehow understand this case and based upon that give a conclusion, a conclusion in our ideology. The first thing to consider is how ethical responsibility has become an important concern for modern business practices. Now, companies, they have a responsibility to take action in a responsive way. That means recognizing how their decision will impact others, quoting stakeholders. Now, such as the community, the environment, people, customers, but in this case, we're going to focus on the community and we're also going to focus on the environment. Now, these decisions made by the companies must consider how the ethical responsibilities should be part of the decision making. Protecting communities from environmental harm, for instance, is an example. However, the decisions where the company's revenue might be affected will make always more difficult to direct the best route or take you know, the, mo the most ethical decision. However, this means that in order to understand different ways for a business to take an ethical approach, we have to focus on what the authors Amartya Sen, Robert Frank, and Lynn Sharpain bring to the table. Through this analysis of the case, we'll review these ethical arguments for each one of them, and this is going to allow us again to make a conclusion whether Merck should or not develop the new drug, which is called Invermectin. Now, uh, from the first perspective of Amartya Sen in 1999, it seems reasonable to believe that Merck has a responsibility to develop a drug to the humans, regardless of the benefits uh, for its own, for its own uh, profit. Now, in this case, we have to understand that the capability approach from this author indicates that individuals should focus on a moral significance to build livelihood values. What this means is that developing this theory in a larger context, we can understand that humans are the, the human development becomes the focus of the companies in this industry. And in this case, implies that every individual must contribute to build a better society. Following this structure, then Merck should utilize all the resources to ensure there is a greater good for the community it serves. According to the same, according to this theory and a little bit parallel to it, we have Robert Frank. Now, Robert's perspective could also work, according to, uh, according to Robert, we're talking about Merck being also able to develop the drug. However, in this theory, it's aligned a little bit more with a uh, Darwinian argument in the sense that the duty to engage in acts are beneficial for society. Hence, the theory from Robert Frank supports the ideology that the conviction and engagement in improving society can lead to a higher level of success. 
What this means for the company is that following this, this second approach will, will allow them to consider developing the drug under the perception to be more engaged and concerned with the community they serve and the, wolf, uh, the welfare of others. This would achieve in the long term a more profitability for the company and therefore is also an ethical obligation to us. Now, lastly, we have Lean Sharp Payne and also she believes and she shares certain values with the previous authors into the critical thinking where the ethical responsibilities of companies are to take action to develop the drug. Now, the, the theory from Keynes on the ethical decision follows with a ponderation of choices available. According to this author, individuals and companies, they have a freedom to make decisions, considering economic impact, but also ethical impact. Every decision has benefits and drawbacks in both economics and ethical contexts. And because of this, it is up to an organization to determine which route they will follow. In one scenario, it would be easy to think that Merck could find benefits that will de of developing this drug. Even if the revenue is not significant, significantly impacted, that doesn't mean that they are not seeing other type of benefits that in the long or short term are also going to help the firm create more value. Now, with this said, with that said, we can understand that Merck must act and commit to the ethical responsibility understanding how economically in different ways or ethically in different ways are going to bring back value to the firm. My conclusion after considering the different author's perspective is that they are all aligning to one unique argument and it's working on the best interest for Merck would be to take action and develop the drug for the human use. Following this ethical obligation with the society will give a better structure and better value to the, what the company offers to the public. And even if there is a possibility that low to no significant income or return to investment will actually happen after developing this drug, there are many other benefits that will arise from the result of the right thinking, to doing the right thing. For instance, the value of the company will definitely grow in the sense that the way that people and community will see the commitment and engagement of this company to help society, it is in the long and very short term help this help the business not only to strive but to be a successful business. This is just my perspective after reviewing these three um, different approaches to ethical responsibility. Thank you, everybody.